Today's video is going to be a little unboxing on this purchase from Coach. And if you guys want to see what I picked up, then stay tuned. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jenny. Today, as I said, is going to be an unboxing day. I love making videos on handbags. I love contemporary, I love luxury, I love anything and everything like such and just hopping right in i am just so excited to be sharing what's inside this box here but before i open this up please follow me on instagram i will drop it over here like i said i just love posting things sharing things stuff like that so if you're not following me please give me a little follow there if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you love handbags and you love luxury contemporary and anything and everything related but let's just hop right in i am going to do my best not to ramble on and on and on so as you can see i have not opened up this package so a little backstory before i get this i had ordered this um via coach.com and i did it like over labor day because there was a 25 percent off i stacked it with rakuten so i got this for a really good deal now you guys know if you love coach Coach does a lot of sales, but most of their sales, most, you know, at least like, unless they're phasing out like a, a product, they only have sales on seasonal colors. So like, it's really hard to find a sale on popular, like the, the neutral colors, right? Like the chalk color, the black. Um, actually, I think those are two that are really hard. You'll, it's really hard to find those ones on sale. And like I said, they, the only way they have sales is if they're getting rid of that particular bag and they're trying to relaunch like new products. So with that said, I really wanted this one, but it's just never on sale. But because Coach did the Labor Day sale, 25% off through the entire, I think majority of the stuff on their site, this part was part of it. Um, so obviously I jumped and purchased it. Now I saw this bag before in the store, but I just like wasn't 100% sure. So I received it in the mail and the way Coach does it, I mean, they do a better job than like Nordstrom and stuff, but they just put in a box. There's like no box as in like the shipping box. There's no like actual box. So I'll go through more detail about it. Well, let's open this up together. So as you can see, have not been opened. And Coach does such a good job. Like their bag is substantial. Their box is substantial. I love how they tied it. The essay at Coach, super nice, super helpful. Um, really good experience overall. But like I said, the um, the item that came delivered was damaged. I'll show you some pictures in a little bit. So I was able to do a swap. So here it is. Again, this is what it looks like. And it has a little Coach sticker here. standard coast coach dust bag now this dust bag is you know just a standard coach one and here it is this is the pillow madison in the regular size and the color chalk with gold hardware now i just love this bag when i saw it and when i saw it um the first time in the store i was amazed at the quality and it reminds me of my chanel 19 i think that's why i really like the bag um but yeah i've been so impressed with this bag and i will it's wrapped up so well you guys know if you buy coach bags that everything is like so wrapped up it's not like other designer houses where they just kind of like toss it in there but look there's like literally a wrap like on every little hardware everything and the essay was so nice like he brought out i didn't even ask but he brought out a couple to make sure that you know the one that he was going to give me was the best so he had said like get take this one this wasn't in, in really good condition i don't see anything wrong with it honestly i'm not like a super picky person like i notice things but i'm also realistic nothing is perfect i just want to make sure there's nothing big and there isn't so it's beautiful so let's open her up together so I'm going to take this chain. This might take me a minute because there's so much. I think she's good to go. Okay. Oh, one more back here. 
Okay, she is good to go. So no, first impression, like I said, I've seen this in store, but first impression, love it. I feel like I could take a nap with her. She's so cute. And it Air looks on camera, but actually this bag is not big. I was considering this one or the smaller size. So really quickly, this is again, the pillow Madison. It comes in, um, it does come in a variety of color. Like this one, this size has the black one. This is chalk. Um, they also have, I think like a lime green, a blue, a like they had their pink one that went on sale that a lot of people have. Um, and that was like really a good price. I think it was like under $200. Um, I consider that one, but you guys know, I just don't think I'll actually use the bag. I'm not really a pink person. It, it just doesn't go with my outfits. I love the color pink by itself, but with outfits and stuff, I, I wanted this like cream ivory, like chalk color. I just think it looks so cute and I can, transition this into fall and winter. It doesn't have to be like a spring summer, but I can use that as well. So recently they launched the mad, um, the pillow Madison in the smaller size at these right here. They have also really fun colors. I'll list them over here. I consider that too, but you guys know I have a lot of mini size bags. So I figure I want another size, um, you know, that is substantial enough, right? Don't have to think about it. I can just like throw in a lot of stuff. Is the bag I'm using, my Chanel. You can see the like the difference. It's actually, this is poofier, but I would say it's about the same. It's about the same size. I would actually think the Chanel would hold more because I think of, the, it's like one big pocket, whereas this one is poofier. So it seems like you can hold more, but I think it holds less, but I don't know, I haven't actually moved into this bag yet, but really quickly, um, let's look at the specs together. You guys can see, it's like this really pillowy, like beautiful, oh, just so nice, right? Here's the bottom. The back has this back pocket, which I love, it's magnetic, just like the 19. By the way, if you guys wanna see comparison between the Chanel 19 and this one, this will be a great alternative if you didn't wanna spend it, the Chanel prices for it. Um, the, but yeah, it's a micro suede inside. It's in this like cognac brown. Again, this is a turn lock, very similar to Chanel. Actually almost feels like Chanel, to be honest. It says coach right there. Here is the inside. Oh, there's a little mark in here. Oh no, there's a little mark. Do you guys see that? Oh, well, it's okay. I am not gonna worry about it because it's fine. It's so small. Okay, so it has this middle. So this is like a big pocket. It has this back pocket right here with a coach booklet. And then what I really love about this bag is this front pocket over here. Also magnetic. And the inside of this is like that. And I wanted to put like my wallet in here so it doesn't get scratched plus like, you know, keys and you know, things like that, easy access stuff. And then I would keep my phone back here. So again, let me show you how you can wear it. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, which I'm not a shoulder bag person, but I could if I wanted to. I love this chain because it reminds me of the Chanel. Um, actually feels, to be honest, I actually like this, um, these chains more than I like the ones on my Chanel 18. I feel like they're a little too like bulky and like all over the place. Whereas this is more seamless, um, but it's brass. It's like the coach brass, really dense, like substantial chain. Then it has this leather, like ivory weaving through. So I know there's a lot of complaints um, from people that have reviewed this bag on YouTube saying that the strap is a little too thin for the weight and the size of the bag. They wish it's a little thicker. Um, I can see that. I mean, I don't think it hurts to make it a little bit thicker, but I also like don't really mind it, but I haven't worn it, so I don't know. Here's what it looks like crossbody. It's a little bit long, but it's not super too, it's not too bad. What I plan on doing is I ordered purse hooks, the same ones I used on my Nikki Baby YSL. And what I'm planning on doing is making this into a top hand. I want to take this, clip it here, and then gives this a top handle here. It'll be a little bit higher. So I haven't done that yet. Um, this is just, purely an unboxing video because I wanted to share with you guys um, this bag itself. So like I said, I got this in the mail. 
um, and I'll draw some pictures, but I think it's because it's been sitting in the sun. I don't know if it was because in transit, I mean, it, it, we've been having like a heat wave here, so I don't know where it was traveling from. Maybe it was sitting in the sun, but the leather felt like not buttery like this. It felt very dry. I mean, leather essentially is like, you know, you have to condition. There's a, you can't leave it in the sun. There's a lot of things you need to do to maintain. I think what happened was it was sitting in the heat. So when you felt it, it was like rough. It was not like this buttery, like feel that you get here, um, which then made me feel like, uh, I just didn't like it as much. My first impression when I opened that package, I was like, I don't remember it being like this. And then on the front of it, there was like some black specks over here. You can't really see, but like in person, it was noticeable. Again, like I was just like, well, I don't, I don't like love it. And if I don't love it, I mean the bag, I think for the coach bag, it's still very reasonable in price, but it's still a dollar is a dollar. So I felt like, you know what? I'm gonna just exchange it if I'm gonna spend money on anything, right? Took it to coach. They were very nice. Like I said, they even packaged for me beautifully. Um, very happy. This bag is in perfect condition. I mean, there is like a little mark right here, but honestly, I don't really care. Yeah, it's like so small, doesn't matter. So yeah, I really like this bag. First impressions, really, really great bag. So really quickly, let's talk about pricing. This bag retails for 495, I believe, right over here. Now, I think it's a great deal for what you're getting. I did a video um, this week, and if you guys haven't seen it, I'll drop it below, but it was like my unpopular opinions. And one of them is people say like, you get what you pay for, but it's not true because I've got, I love and purchase a lot of fashion houses and I don't always get what I should have gotten for the price I paid for. <laughs> but this one, Coach, just their quality is just so supreme. I can't even say. $4.95 is such a good deal. Like I didn't pay $4.95, but I, if I really, really wanted it, I felt I would still pay $4.95. I think it's totally worth it. Um, but again, like for me, I just am a person that unless, if I know something, there's a potential for a sale, I'd rather just wait. I'm not always in a hurry to get it. Plus, I think the Madison will be around for a while. Um, so if you guys want this bag and you don't want to pay the $4.95, just wait. I bet you if you wait till like Black Friday, you can probably get even more. And pro tip, like Rakuten on a lot of things, right? I use that for everything and it adds up because even if you save like, 30 to 50 dollars still 30 to 50 dollars so this one coach does like sometimes it, it's every day the rates change right so sometimes one percent five percent ten percent twenty percent at times so just wait and you can stack those promos and get it at a good deal so i absolutely love this one um i actually picked up another coach purchase at first i was like trying to decide like should i return this one but now seeing this one i probably would just keep both <laughs> you guys let me know if i should keep that second one i'm still waiting for that to come but i ordered that one through Saks, so it wasn't through coach um but yes first impression love this bag it's so squishy i think it is such a good like bag um and a great like chanel alternative it reminds me of also like the ysl lulu it almost feels like the YSL Lulu, but if I wanna keep it real on here, this feels more buttery, isn't that insane? This is more buttery than the actual like Saint Laurent bag. Uh, but you know, again, that's just my take so far. I need to still move into the bag, like get to use it, and then I'll have a more detailed review. If you guys wanna see comparison between this and the Chanel 19, drop a comment below. Um, I'll be happy to do that because myself, I'm actually curious to see the differences. Um, as much as I love the Chanel 19, I feel like you're getting almost the same quality for so, so, so much less. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then also, if you guys have the Madison or considering, drop a comment below and let me know, like, what are your thoughts about it? Like, would you get this bag? Do you love the bag if you have it? I always say I love to hear you guys tell me how you feel. It really, really like makes me happy when you guys, you know, um, DM me or comment below because I just, I love talking about bags. So yeah, I love this one. Again, this is just a little unboxing. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys are following me already, I thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And like always, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.